because uh, emotionally I say that because I'm crying right now. It's, uh, it's an understanding. Um, we are born to die in between. You gotta fill it with happiness. That's the only thing life asks of you. Just be happy. Holly from the Latino Slant back here on the Slantinos. Now, let me tell you, we had some great highlights this year. We had some wonderful guests, some uh, some big time YouTubers coming on by. We've uh, got to break news and all that good stuff. But one moment of pure joy, pure fascination and pure awe was that of our interview with Edward James Olmos. Um, so, Mr. Olmos, um, I understand that uh, you came up with city speaker gutter talk in Blade Runner uh, that your character Gaff uses. Uh, mm -hmm. How did you go about creating a believable language like that? Did you just go out and buy a bunch of dictionaries or did you employ a linguist or how, does it, how did that work? The year was 1980 and uh, when they asked me to come in and talk with uh, Ridley Scott and, uh, you know, I had just done, I did uh, Zutsu in 1978, mm -hmm. February 14th of 1978, we opened on the Temper, Temp, Taper, Mark Taper stage in Los Angeles. And uh, it was a, immediately an overwhelming success. Now you can just see from that clip, uh, the, the respect that he just commands because of his own respect for the art, for what he does. It's just, it's just, it's in his DNA, and you just can't help but just call him by. You just love calling him Mr. Olmos. Um, what fascinated me is the fight that he still has in Hollywood, where he still has to explain the Latino experience to people who can greenlight his projects. And I was equally fascinated, if not surprised, that we got to broke the new break the news that he is doing a Joaquin Murrieta movie or series wasn't too clear whether it's going to be on streaming. It is going to be streaming, whether it was a movie or a TV series, but he is directing a Joaquin Murrieta film and to break that here on the channel and to have him with us talking about one of his favorite movies of all time, the ballad of Gregory Cortez. That is definitely the pure highlight of 2022 here on the Latino slant. And you get the slantino, Mr. Almost. Thank you. Jets off of carriers. And he decided to retire after 20 years. And he sat us all down and said, um, I'm going to go back to college and I'm going to become a teacher. And I didn't understand at first. I said, how could you, how can you go from, from flying jets off of aircraft carriers to being a teacher? And a couple of days later, I asked him that question and we sat down that night and we watched Stand and Deliver. It was the very first time I'd seen that. You are the reason why I know how to multiply by nine so easily as well, sir. Um, but finger man. Ever... <laughs> yeah, the finger <laughs> man. Are you the finger man? I'm the finger man. I can times by. I'm multiplied by nine. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite part in the entire movie. But um, did you ever imagine that through film, through your art, through your craft, that you would inspire so many people. He played that movie, like you said, he played that movie every year for his kids. He played that movie every year for 15 years while he was teaching for his kids. Did you ever imagine you would inspire someone like that? No, because uh, emotionally I say that because I'm crying right now. It's, uh, it's an understanding. Um, we are born to die in between. You gotta fill it with happiness. That's the only thing life asks of you, just be happy. And it's hard, it's hard to be happy. There's just so much of life that gets in the way and we allow it to get in the way. And all of a sudden something happens and there's a moment in time when it's like what they say, catching lightning in a bottle. Oh, dear, bye, bye.